Hi, today I want to talk to you about the synth part and if you have to ask. I'm pretty sure it's played on a micro moog because you can see that in the Funky Monks DVD or VHS. Today I'm using the Moog Grandmother which can make similar sounds. We're gonna start with oscillator 1. You can put it on a sawtooth and for the envelope you put the attack on 0, the decay on 0, the release on 0 and the sustain full on on 10. So you get this on off note. No release, no attack. Sawtooth and then you put another oscillator in and it's another sawtooth one octave above. It sounds like this. And you put them together. It's very important that you tune the oscillator so there's no beating. So Now we're going to take a look at the filter. I use zero resonance and I don't use the envelope for the filter. I just cut the high frequency a little bit so it's less harsh. And that's it basically. Now we're going to take a look at the synth part. It's in C minor and you play a C, then you play a minor third which is the E flat back to the C, then you play an F, which is the fourth note in the scale, and then you bend it to a flat fifth, which is For the last note you need the mod wheel, and it needs to modulate the pitch amount and the cutoff amount. So when I open up the mod wheel a little bit, it sounds like this. But when you open it even further, it sounds like this. So that's an LFO that's controlling the pitch amount and the cutoff amount. And that's it. You can recreate this sound with any synth that has two oscillators, a pitch wheel and a mod wheel. So try it yourself, have fun, thanks for watching. Please like this video, subscribe, see you next time. Bye.